spot something? Hmm? Oh, no. Just wondering if I could see any armored guards. Armored guards? You mean Voron soldiers? The moment we defeated their lord, all those guys bolted out of there. And not just out of the castle either, the city too. For better or worse, it was the guards who looked after the city's Danons. Without them, making Pelegian half habitable again has been one big headache. It's not like they were on their last legs. They could have chosen to stay and fight, but instead they ran away and disappeared without a trace. But without a lord to follow, they can't have any place to go. Unless... You don't think they went to Lenigus, do you? It's not completely out of the question. Though I'd say it's more likely they're biding their time somewhere, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike back at us. The people here in Pelegian are nowhere near ready to defend themselves. <sighs> Great. Another headache to worry about. Is it just me, or was today's dinner a little low on salt? I felt that it was seasoned perfectly, so as to bring out the flavor of the ingredients. Last taste buds are still like a kid, so if his food isn't rich enough, I bet he doesn't feel like he's eaten anything at all. Don't make fun of me! We all need salt in order to survive! He has a point. You do lose stamina if you don't get enough salt in your body. Yeah, I remember seeing people trying to lick the rocks back in Calaglia. What? Why would anybody do that? Sometimes you can find rocks out there that taste salty. They used to say it was because of all the tears we slaves shed. Most likely, that was actually rock salt that they found. When our provisions ran low, Megal would often bring some back for us to use. At the time, we used it because it's all we had. But now there's something hearty about rock salt I like. Even more than table salt. Is it possible, perhaps, to find any rock salt in these parts? It is. You have to know what you're looking for, but when I find any, I always break some up to refill our supply. The flavor even changes depending on what kind of terrain it comes from. Sometimes I end up collecting more than we need, just in case we like it. Wow, Kisara is really serious about her salt. You can always count on Kisara to be earnest. That's why we have to do our part and not add any more to her burden. Rumbling. This sort of stuff's old hat for us by now. Yeah, you've got a point, but... It's not going to take forever, Law, I promise. Let's just do what we came here to do and get out. Very well. Well. 
pay. Pardon me. Doesn't seem that way. You must think we're just damning from the town. Whatever's going on, these are Bull Run soldiers. Watch yourself. You're finished. All right. Death in the wind. You don't say. So then... I can't believe how quickly you got all those soldiers to obey you, Dohuin. Actually, they were abiding Ren in hierarchy. Not me, personally. Well, either way, solve the problem and that's what counts. any more enemies. I've talked to the soldiers and made it clear that they are to remain in line. Things should stay calm for the time being. I know Renans tend to take authority extremely seriously, but you sure know how to throw your weight around as a former lord. I only manage to get through to them because Volron's curse is lifting, but not to the extent that they can act independently as of yet. 
Considering we had other matters to attend to for the past month, we should consider ourselves lucky that nothing occurred during our absence. But if they do start operating independently again, that's going to cause a whole new set of problems to deal with. Indeed. Ganeth Heros is unlike Menencia. Without intervention, they'll likely revert to oppressing the Danans as they were doing before. Meaning there's still a lot of work to be done in this realm. Not that there aren't problems among the Danans, too. Yes. There was no way to avoid the deep-seated conflicts that had festered here. But... I just hate that we had to use your position as a lord to solve the situation, Dohalim. Had I not intervened, yet more blood would have spilled here, and nobody wishes for that. <clears throat> so, what's going to happen to the Renans here now? Why do you ask? We've stripped the soldiers of their armor and locked them up. They can't hurt you guys anymore. I promise. So they're alive? They're... they're not going to die? What? Those people deceived us. They did terrible, terrible things to us. They made us suffer. Long before you guys came along. For years and years and years, it was constant. Never stopped, not even for a day. So many people died. Our parents, our children, our friends. They all died. They were murdered, and it was the Renans. The Renans were the ones who did it. They killed us. Why do they get to live after so many of us have died? The bastards should die! Every last one of them! I... I know how you feel, Ganya. I used to be a slave, and I hated the Renans just like you. I took up the blazing sword to bring them down. But along the way, I've met many people and seen many things. People refusing the hand life dealt them. People who have lost loved ones, but are still trying to make this world a better place. People driven by hate who stopped before it was too late. And those who couldn't and paid with their lives. And I fought plenty of people who are all too happy to make others suffer. Believe me. But after a while, I came to realize that it's not the Renans who are our true enemies. Then what the hell are we fighting if it's not them? We're fighting against anyone who tries to take what doesn't belong to them. But that's what these Renans are doing! How is that any different? Because I judge everyone by their own actions. That goes for Danans, too. Because at the end of the day, at the root of all evils committed, is an individual who committed them. You're right, Alfin. It seems like people are either blaming an entire race for one individual's sins, or an individual for everyone else's mistakes. But all that does is add more hate in a world that's already full of it. I want to help create a society where people can finally stop suffering and move beyond their pain. But if we try to do that with more violence, then we'll just end up right back where we started in the first place. All right. Have it your way. I can't argue with the folks that helped us get back our ability to think and speak freely again. Is that to say you trust us then? I don't trust the Renans as far as I can throw them. I trust you guys because of who you are and what you've done. Fair enough. We won't let you down, Ganya. What's the matter, Kisara? Is something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing. It's fine, really. I'm just a bit worried about what'll happen to all these folks. Right. It'll take time before they start thinking for themselves again. Indeed. That is part of it. However, what I'm even more worried about is what will happen to them after that. What do you think they're going to want once they realize how cruel Volron was to them? Probably revenge. 
What happened to Ganeth Haros is the worst form of oppression we've seen. But treated cruelly or kindly, slaves will rise up. Lenegas aside, there are still remnants of Renan supremacists scattered throughout Dana. You mean all that trouble we went through to get rid of the Lords might just lead to more violence? That's the last thing I want to see happen. Of course not. And if we don't do something to prevent it all from starting up again, there could be even more bloodshed for us to regret. There's still a lot we don't know about the Renan rulers. Whatever the face of truth behind their veil, it's on us to put a stop to them. But there is one thing that's clear. Whatever we do to finally end it, our motives can't be getting back at the Renans, or it'll all be for nothing. So, what exactly is it that you're saying? That we should just act as if nothing happened? Law's right. We can't expect everyone to just forget all the pain they've endured up until now. Not so easily, at least. But we have to at least try to change course. We can't just keep allowing history to repeat itself like this. Exactly. Look, I won't deny that between the Crown Contest and 300 years of oppression, there's a lot of bad blood between the Danans and the Renans. But all these problems are just too big for us to try to carry the burden on our own. We'll keep doing our part in the interim, but we need to take this one battle at a time. Glad that work's taken care of. I don't think we're done just yet. I want you all to stick around a little longer. There might still be people who need our help. When you think about it, Thinking for yourself can be a heavy responsibility at times. Yeah, it's not like your mind will only ever think about good, happy things for one. Maybe so, but I'll still take that burden over living life as a puppet serving others. That's why I want to do everything I can to help these people. Yes!
sorry. Yes. Just great. <laughs> Soft and fluffy items. Is that description supposed to be figurative or literal? Let's check anything in the area that looks edible. going on around here. Yeah. There might be someone who could use our help. <sighs> well... Where are you going? Since when do I need your permission to move around? I wasn't saying that you do. Though I'm not sure why you're biting my head off about it either. Oh, that's so typical of you. How can you be so relaxed about all this? At this very moment, the enemy is doing who knows what behind the scenes. And yet we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs in Ganeth Haros. I know that. But our hands are tied right now. What do you want me to do? And what's gotten into you anyway? Is there something you want to say to me, Xion? Look, you're right. Forget I said anything. If I said something to hurt you, I'm sorry. But I honestly don't know what I said to upset you so much. I really wish you would tell me. You don't need to apologize. You didn't say anything. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. Not really. Then why? Please just drop it. I don't want to talk about it. All right. If that's what you want, I won't push any further. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just... don't be too hard on yourself, okay? <sighs> I hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully it's nothing that'll be too... <laughs> well...
Yeah. <laughs> No way. Huh? Got it. Stuck on that too? No, really. I kind of see where they're coming from. Are you okay with anything as long as it's round and flies? Sun died isn't an easy thing to do. But if not us, then who? That's why we have to find her. Oh, hey! Seriously? Hmm? I wasn't expecting a thank you for that. Maybe socializing with people is helping to jog his memory bit by bit. You did good, Law. <laughs> Thanks.
Sorry. Yes. Ugh. rest is work because that's the way people were made to think about every aspect of their lives I know she doesn't mean anything bad by it I know that but it looks like she went out of town to take care of her son's body that's a little concerning there are zoogles roaming around out there we should follow after her Okay, off we go. We should be able to cook here. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry.
Rinwell. Huh? That little speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Alfin. If you call letting your emotions get the better of you impressive, sure. It made them stop fighting with each other, right? However you managed it, you knocked some sense into Rinwell and Dohalim, and that mother. Yeah. I can see my decision to travel with you was well made. Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding. So we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to, it's the resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way. Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. Uh, you're welcome? Coming Fire through! Don't see the face! Anyway, I'll take you! Glacial spear! Here's I'll take evil. you all off! I can carve through armor! These Please little kids are right. rings around us! Your fist is up! Red and Red black! Your water is almost even back! Field. Leave the insmelling to me. Yeah, and totally to me. Come on, demon fang. Take this. The flame inside me yearns to be let free. Come on, demon fang. Take this. Come on, demon fang. Dating pile driver. Was that a new skill I saw back there? Indeed. Well, sort of. Actually, it's a family staple harkening back eight generations. Um, maybe you can just write all this down? Phew, what a rush! Get lost! Can't get out of this! Begin! Sure. Sure. You're mine! This one's back. mine! Huh? Is it hot? Do it! Get out of here! This one's got your name on it! Ashes to ashes! A melee destruction. There's still more to go. Its armor's too strong. Then split it open. Be my guest. Dragon Frolic. Do it. Rimmo. Astral energy. Say no more. Onward and upward. It's gigantic. I'd say we're about evenly matched.
Let's dispose of the trash. It's a duel of the art. It looks like the black and white are weak points. I can carve through all the enemy wields art too. You can see that. Dragon form. Illuminate the laser. Resonate with the art. Now, while it's reeling, take it down. In a bind. Grant me the strength to march on! Lion Heart! Fire's the passion! Cork in this flame! I owe you one! You're mine! Here I come! Cork in this flame! Grant me the strength to march on! Fire's the passion! Cork in this flame! Gravitas! You're mine! You're finished and don't kill! Blow away! Ignite! Burning! Turn it! Feel! You're mine! Tempest! Dragon Swoop! Leave the charges for me! Raining Slash! Shiny Supernova! I never miss! Dragon Swoop! Not on my watch! You're finished! Fire's the fire! Quick to fix over! It's weakened! Strike! This is now! I can do this all day! Now or never! Now you see what I can do! Here I come! It's over! Watch and wait! In a bind! Dragon Swarm! Lightning! Don't mind if I do! Fear and flame! Take this! It's over! Dragon Swarm! It's over! Ignite! Lion Hawk! The Glacier Spear! Here's the Eagle! Strike! Benedict! Please, Lightning! Got it! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! Now's our chance! Another incantation ruined! Dragon Sword! Light Astral no. Energy! Air Thrust! Light Astral Energy! Raging Cascade! Here I come! Magic and Magic and Dragon Sword! Okay, here I go! Water, hear my call! Dragon Sword! Can you take it? Fire's a castle! Here's the evil! Ready! I never miss! Not on my watch! Take this! I'm not dead! Take this! One more! Fire's the passion! Course it in flame! Dragon Sword! Reload! Darkness! The fluidity of your movement is no big deal! Can't end here! Strike! Glacier Clean! Here's evil! Darkness! Free Blazer! In a bind? It's wide open! It won't escape me! Grant me the strength to mark on! The healing circle! Fire's attack! Fight! This one's all mine! Lion Dog! Double Steven Fang! Strike! Eat dirt! Elusive Steven! Grant 
just found. Always good to be back in familiar territory. We've helped these people just about as much as we can. They're going to need more long-term aid than we can provide on our own. You're right. Right. We need to ask the other realms to send help, and fast. Another reason to hurry and find a way out of Ganeth Haros. Agreed. We'll start looking for a way out tomorrow. For now, we should spend the day resting up while we can. Looks like we made it here in one piece. What?
What's that noise? Helfin, this is bad! Look at the sky! Huh? What's happening to Renna and Lenegus? It looks like Lenegus is transforming? But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion! Uh, oblivion... Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Corps are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Ottolina Palace several times. Everyone in the guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif, too. You saw her, right, Shion? Shion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the Lords for the Renan Top Brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now, that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Haros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. That must be Rena's true power. I imagined there would be something, but not to this extent. What's gonna happen now? We ask around. Let's do what we can. Hey, when that wedge dropped down on Dana, 
Did anyone else see any weird light shoot out with it? Indeed. As I recall, it was four lights, each one a different color and going in a separate direction. That's what I saw, too. What were they? Hold on. A lot just happened here, so let's take a minute. For now, let's focus on one thing at a time. I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelegian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to leave. That's for sure. Whatever Lenigus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on. We don't have much time. Where are these Foreland Mountains, exactly? Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the Lavtu marshlands. I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there. It's possible we overlooked something before. It wouldn't hurt to look again. <laughs> <laughs> 